Hi Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, this is Dean, and I'm going to be doing your October 20th to the 30th, 2018 reading for you. Now, I've already shuffled and meditated upon the cards, we're just giving them one last good shuffle and connecting with the spirit to see what the cards have to say is in store for you for these 10 days, Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. And if you would like to book a private reading with me, all that information will be in the description box below. Okay, beautiful. Oh, I love it. Wow. Three major arcana cards in a row. An ace card. Two of cups. And there you are, Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, coming through as another major arcana card. As your major arcana card represents Virgo, which is the Hermit. So this is going to be a very powerful... 10 days for you, Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. We have three major arcana cards, an ace card, which is a gift card, well, as I read them, okay? And this is all about you seeing the truth of the matter. I mean, we have the High Priestess and we have the Hierophant, which I feel is an absolutely brilliant pairing, okay? They complement each, each other very well, and then we have the High Priestess and the Hermit, which is another absolutely beautiful pairing, depending on the books that you read or the readers that you talk to, they either say that the High Priestess and the Hierophant go together are the pair, or the High Priestess and the Hermit. And the fact that you have both of them here is absolutely exquisite. Okay, so your first card here is the High Priestess. This means that you are following your intuition, you are following your instincts, and you're seeing things for how they truly are. Not how you want them to be, not how people want you to see them, but you're seeing the truth of the matter, All right? Kind of lifting the veil from your eyes, and moving forward in truth and in balance. Here, you have this cauldron of wisdom. Carowin in Welsh mythology was a person who, actually, she links these two together. So she made a potion, which Taliesin wound up drinking, all right? And she had this servant boy who was absolutely nothing. She told him, you stir this pot all day long, all right? And just keep on stirring it because that's what the potion needed. It needed to be stirred. And she made the wisdom for her son to drink because she thought that he wasn't going to amount to anything. So she thought, I'll give him all the blessings in the world, and then he'll become somebody who is honored and respected. That's what she did. It actually wound up going to the wrong person. But here, it's seeing the truth of the matter. It's seeing that you can change the situation by seeing the truth behind the situation. By her saying, you know what, I'm going to create this cauldron of wisdom to give to my son, she changed another boy's future. It happens in unexpected ways. That's the, the, the duplicity of the High Priestess or duality of the High Priestess is that as you see things and as you move forward, embracing your wisdom, embracing your understanding, some of you might feel that the veil is being lifted from your eyes and that you're really seeing the truth of everything so much quick, so much more intently, intensely. All right? So this could be that some of you are tapping into your own spiritual power and awakening yourselves as you move forward. And things might not turn out exactly the way that you had anticipated or expected, but they turn out the way that the universe needs them to be. Okay? So you're moving forward in your truth, you're moving forward in your understanding, and you're having the veil lifted from your eyes, embracing what you want from this world. And then you're getting a gift from God, Source, Spirit, however you see the divine, the universe, of knowing your own mind, of knowing your thoughts, of knowing your truth, of sitting there and saying yes. Okay, this is what I want, this is where I'm going, and this is what I'm embracing in myself. Even if people don't understand, because usually people do not understand the High Priestess energy. This is being more introverted, this is really looking at yourself, what you want, and seeing people, not for who they want you to see them as, not the mask that they want you to see. Think of um, the Phantom of the Opera and Masquerade, okay, or just think of a Masquerade Ball, where everybody's wearing a mask, but you're able to see underneath that mask, even though they have it on. And that's what you're going to be able to do every single day or within moments of the day, Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. If you build that power up, if you keep on embracing your truth and connecting with nature to recharge your energy, then you will be able to do it most of the time, right? Maybe not all the time, but you will be able to do it 90% of the time if you embrace this energy completely. Knowing your mind, knowing your truth, the Ace card is a gift card. This is God's source spirit giving you a gift of knowing your mind, of blessing your thoughts, now, with, with the aces, you can either take the gift or you can reject the gift. That's completely up to you. But if you take this gift, it's going to make the understanding of the high priestess all that more intent. 
intense. Here you have the chariot. You are moving forward in absolute passion and purpose. You are moving forward knowing what you want, knowing where you're going, boldly and bravely embracing who it is that you are. Hold, reigning in your emotions, kind of holding everything in, right? It might feel at times that if you let everything go, it would be like a tidal wave hitting you, almost as if your emotions need to be held in check just for a moment to be able to move forward, to be able to embrace your personal power. And I love this because the horses down here always make me think of either the book or the movie, The Last Unicorn, where all the unicorns were put into the sea and they would come up as, you know, the waves, the sea foam, when, when the tide would come in. All right. So I think that's absolutely beautiful. It's a bit of magic, a bit of mystique. It also always makes me think of Poseidon forging his horses out of the sea, moving forward and being able to harness in your emotions, Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, as you boldly and bravely move forward. This is embracing your love and your understanding. Now, for some of you, you might be seeing the truth of the matter and falling in love, okay? Seeing a person for who they really are, not who they want you to think they are or the mask that they put on, and you might be falling in love with a person that you never expected to fall in love with, Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. But for those of you who aren't looking for love, this is you moving forward in healing and in peace, in prosperity of yourself, courage and love. It's a fragile love. Think of it as a cherry blossom spring. Cherry blossoms don't last forever, but they're beautiful and they're fragrant. And as they bloom and when they do appear, they just fill the world with beauty. So this healing, beautiful love that is coming into your life, Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, it won't be there 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You'll get glimpses of it. And it's going to give you that sense of peace, right? Especially as you're not fighting your emotions, but reigning in your emotions to better understand what it is that you want, to better achieve your goals. Because you have here the Hierophant. And now the Hierophant in the Rider White Tarot deck is represented by a Pope with supplicants at his feet. A person who can demand kings, okay? Who could make demands on kings. Higher than a king. A spokesperson of God, right? That's what the Pope represents. So here we have Taliesin, who's a bard. He is a person who holds the myths and the legends and the traditions of his people within his head. He could tell a king what to do. He is also the wisest of all people because he has drunk from the cauldron of wisdom that Carowin made him stir. So he went from being lowly to being revered because he's following his wisdom and his truth. He's embracing who it is that he is moving forward, knowing what he wants, knowing where he's going. This is following a traditional path, but it's also making that path your own. I'm not saying that you have to do everything the tried and true way, but I'm saying that, well, the cards are saying that you don't have to, you don't have to go from scratch, okay? It's almost as if things have been set up. It's as if, okay, if you wanted to publish a book, this isn't saying, you know, to write the book and then start handing it out to people on the street corner. This is saying that you could go through Amazon or you could go through a publisher or something like that. It isn't reinventing the wheel. It's using it to your advantage. It's seeing what works for you the best and then going after it. Same with music, same with even your job. That doesn't have to be in the arts, right? But this is using a pre-existing platform to best, best express what it is that you want from life and your talents and your understanding because you are astoundingly talented Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. You have here the power of, a mind, of your mind and of your spirit that is absolutely beautiful and you're moving yourself forward in passion and prosperity as you guard what it is that you love. This is guarding your solar plexus. This is guarding your home. This is sitting there and having your feet firmly playing, planted on the ground and saying, this is what's important to me. This is what I want from life. And then getting it. Absolutely getting what it is that your heart desires. And holding on to it. And this isn't letting the negativity, the doubts, the fears of everybody else come in to your personal space and knock you off course. Yes, it will happen. Yes, negativity from others, hard times, fights, they break you down, they wear you down, and they're exhausting. But this is saying that you pick yourself up. You protect yourself. Not, not being 
I want to say not being so sensitive, but it's not cutting yourself off from feeling. It's knowing your truth, Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. Because from what I see in these cards here is you're an astoundingly caring, feeling person who takes things in, right? And wishes to move forward in love. But by, by seeing the truth of the matter, you are getting emotions from people and you're getting knowledge from people that maybe is just a bit too intense. Okay? Or you're taking on their hurt, their sorrow. Grounding yourself. Steeping yourself in traditions. Even reading books that other people have written about the same situations that you are going through. All right? Or how to ground yourself. How to center yourself. How to cleanse your aura if you believe in that. You know, just a way to make it so that while, as you're taking everything in, you can still boldly move forward, still rein in those emotions, and still protect yourself. Because protecting yourself is very important for Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. You have here, as your clarifying cards, the Nine of Wands and the Hermit. This is you embracing you after a time of struggle, after a time of difficulty, after a time of having to defend your passions, your creativity, your choices. And you're feeling battered and bruised. Your body might ache. You might feel as if you've been through a fight even though what you have been through is probably more spiritual than physical. So you're defending yourself, you're defending the choices that you made, or that you're making, okay, against people who don't understand, who don't see. Or why can't you do this instead of that? And what you're doing is you're putting that staff back in the ground and you're building and growing this fence between you and the world, right? And you notice here how there are trees and they're sprouting well, these start as saplings and they grow into beautiful, strong trees. And the faster they grow is the more that you believe in yourself. The more that you believe in your energy, the faster these trees will grow and defend you as you turn inward, as you embrace yourself for a ghost, sun, moon, or ascendant. As you embrace your passion, your creativity, your flexibility of mind and spirit, and you be true to yourself. Having the birth card of the hermit means that you need to take quiet, contemplative time for you. And that will help you move forward. That will help you embrace your truth. Okay. Give me one moment here. And I move these around. I do know readers who do do this and have been taught by them too. So if it doesn't ring true for you to move around the cards, then that is completely fine. But I do believe that especially in a general reading, it does make things a little bit more clear. You've been protecting yourself, Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, as you become more spiritually aware or as you start to see the truth of matters. It doesn't even have to be spiritually. It could just be personally. As you see people for who they are, you know, you could be, you could have even been dating somebody and you thought they were one way and they turn out to be another. So protecting your solar plexus, protecting your home, protecting what's important to you as you see the truth of things. And remember to connect with nature because that's going to recharge your battery. Moving forward boldly and bravely, embracing your passions and your creativity. Okay, embracing what it is that you want from life and moving forward in love. Taking this gift of knowing your own mind and running with it. Make sure you take this Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. It could be large, it could be small, but it's coming to you and it is empowering you in a way that lets you know that you are on the right path. It doesn't matter what other people say. Okay, as long as it rings true for you and you're keeping up with your responsibilities, you're able to take care of things, you're able, you know, to, well, adult properly, for lack of a better term, then you're fine. Or, you know, to keep with your studies, wherever it is that you are in life. You know, as long as you're showing up and as long as you're doing your best, these people here who are making it so they have to protect yourself and making you feel attacked, they don't matter. Even if they are your own family members, even if they do matter greatly to you, if they can't see your truth, then you kind of armor up Okay, see how you have your chain mail on here and here you armor up and you keep moving forward, reigning in your emotions. And the best, I had one reader say to me, she goes, the best thing to keep, up, keep moving you forward is your anger at those who think you will not succeed. And I looked at her kind of aghast and I said, you know, anger is not appropriate. And she said, anger is sometimes the best fuel in your existence. So you are moving forward knowing your desire, Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, and achieving great things from it. Now, this does not mean, the Hierophant does not mean you will become a bard or a pope or, 
you know, somebody who's absolutely revered in your field, but it means that you will rise to the highest of your ability and be, and be viewed with respect. Knowing your mind, your mind and your words are astoundingly important. Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. And your subconscious message is the two of ones. You're moving forward in your passion. You're moving forward in your beauty. Not only thinking about today, but thinking about the days, the weeks, the months, the years to come. Absolutely embracing your truth. Absolutely embracing your bounty. Letting nobody take that from you. For those of you who are looking for love, because we have the two of cups and the two of wands here, the two of wands for me symbolizes that twin flame connection, that person who really resonates with your soul. You could be finding somebody who is absolutely wonderful that you wouldn't have even looked at if you hadn't start seeing the world differently and embracing your truth. Be strong and be brave and keep moving forward, Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. There is nothing you cannot accomplish if you stay true to yourself. All right, I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. Bye.